Hello, so what you see on your screen right now, it's a fairly typical HDMI cable and a pretty typical yellow, white, red composite video RCA stereo connection cable. Welcome to our channel all about home electronics, where in this video we're going to answer the question we're often asked, hey, how do I connect my gaming console, be it a Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PlayStation, to a television that doesn't have an HDMI input? Or how do I connect my DVD player or some other device that only outputs HDMI to a TV that only inputs this composite video RCA cable? It's actually pretty straightforward. You do need to buy a small device and we're going to show you and explain the setup right after this. Okay, so here's the device that I mentioned. It is an HDMI to AV cable converter. As you can tell, it's pretty small in size and it's pretty simple to set up. You simply plug your HDMI input right there where it says input. And then on the other side, you take your composite video cable and your RCA stereo cable and plug it in there. It does not matter which end of your HDMI cable that you plug in. Now, when you're connecting the composite video cable, we strongly urge you to use the yellow composite video cable and the red-white RCA cable and try not to substitute it with anything else because not all cables are created the same. Now, with this device, you do gain the capability of connecting an HDMI device to a television that only has the composite video input but you will lose a couple of features that HDMI has for example high definition video that is not going to be what's output out of this yellow composite video cable you might enjoy roughly 400 lines of resolution or a third or even way less of video resolution and with the HDMI cable, oftentimes if there's a surround sound audio signal uh, that is transmitted by that, it's going to be reduced down to only two speakers, your left and your right analog uh, stereo sound. There will not be surround sound through this device. As is the case with most electronics, we do need a little bit of power. And we picked this uh, converter up at a local retailer. It was about $30. You can get them online. Uh, they're fairly common to find in the audio electronics section. Uh, this one did come with a power supply. And, of course, you want to hook that up uh, and plug the other end into a receptacle for power. And then you'll notice here... We zoomed in pretty close. You have to make a selection using this switch between NTSC and PAL. And these are broadcast formats. NTSC is primarily North America and PAL is a lot of South America, Europe, and Asian countries. What you're looking at now is the back of our example television and since we've made the proper wiring connections we simply need to make sure our television is set to the correct input. Now most TVs are going to have the coaxial cable input. We simply need to switch the setting to the composite video input so that when we want to see our device displayed on the TV it is. The quickest way to do it is either through your television's remote, which is the remote control that actually came with the TV, or by a button press on the front face of the TV, if your TV has buttons on the front face. But in this example, here's the remote, and we're going to look for an input or source button and press that until we find the AV or composite video input. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below the video. Here are a few video links we hope you might find useful. If you liked this video or it helped you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe free to our channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.